uh, see that you called. Yes. Um, Lux had, so Lux had reached out to me and told me um, that, you know, you wanted me to do your podcast. Yeah. And I told him that I would, I would love to do it. But uh, I don't know if you know. So I live out the country now. Yeah, I so know. So I'm not in the country. Okay. So I was just making sure if you were open to me doing it virtually and then um, I think that would be safest uh, for everyone involved. OK, OK. And then um, so I, I have some, if ever it be need or meant to do it in person, that's always welcomed. But the conversation that needs to be had between us. I think it's best to start virtually, don't you? Yeah, I, I think I think it's a good thing. I think it'll be good for people to just know that we have some type of communication and relationship. Yeah, before. Um, because as I do some bigger podcasts, I would like, and when I do come to uh, back to America, which is going to be soon, probably well, maybe in the take your the time end of December. Take your time. Right. So, yeah. So, you know, my thing was um, some of these bigger interviews I'm, I'm going to do. Um, I think it'll be well to bring you on as well, too, mm. as we see how our, in, our interview goes. And if it's if it's great harmony and, and chemistry, I think it'll be a, a, a good thing to be a dynamic duel and put us in a situation where uh, we can do some interviews together. Well, Brother Bilal, I'm honored. Um, and the truth is, my my response to that is yes, people need to hear they need to hear what's real. Right. We've right. as a society, we have slipped away from reality. I agree. And it's just for, for reality's sake, I I think it would behoove us both. Okay, well that well well. Well, that that's a done deal because I'm I'm about to do so. So my situation, I turned down a, a, a lot of interviews mm -hmm. because we end up pushing the book back because um, Jada book was supposed to come out in 2024, and mine was supposed to come out in 2023. So when they heard my book was coming out, they rushed her book comes. So you know, with that being said, I'm going to yeah. put my book to 2024. But all these news outlets were saying, well, we still want to interview you. And we'll interview you again once we get closer to the book. So I thought that was a great idea. Well, I think it's a fabulous can... idea for you. And plus, you need to check the temperature. On the bigger platform. Back, um, as we get closer to the book, we come back and I bring other people who have their stories um, as it relates to this situation. And I just think it's a one-win. I think it's more exposure. I think it brings uh, sponsorship and yeah. um, notoriety to your new podcast, which I think is going to be dynamic. Yeah. So I, I think it's a one-win for everybody. Those are the situations I like to be involved in. Yeah. Well, Bilal, I, I appreciate your positive outlook on all of this. You know, they say what I do is make trouble, and I don't think I do that at all. I think what I do is give people a safe space to critically think out loud. Um, you know, I don't say anything that isn't based in fact, and I don't repeat rumors. I only speak from what I know. Unfortunately for some, I know a lot. And I know the pressure that comes along with knowing too much. And you are now un unofficially a know too much nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like you, you have to make sure that in the midst of all of this, your voice is heard. Purely. Without question. Without question. Because they're going to try to pervert it in every way possible and I think that's what makes a conversation with me such a a potential for refreshing and explosive at the same time because I ain't on no chain right yeah yeah I ain't because on no I chain 
Yeah, no, I had a couple of interviews and they called me back and was like, man, B, I, man, Charlie Mack and reached out to me. I I want to do it. He threatened me and this and that. I said, Charlie, oh, for real? you know said, what? Well, Charlie can suck an ass. I said, are you kidding me? I said, listen, this is what I'm Charlie. I said, I, yeah, listen, I'm telling we got. I got the text message. Wait till I do your show. I got the text messages. I'm going to tell you this me. right now. He makes me want to go out and buy a step stool. You know, <laughs> and just carry it around so when I see him, I can jump up on that hoe and bust him in his fucking head. I don't know what's yeah. wrong with this nigga. You know what's wrong with everything wrong? about this nigga is stuff a law. Yeah, you you know you know what's wrong. You and, know, but we we gonna get into that. And we, this the no, but this we, the thing, we, Belial. This the thing, Belial. I know where those threats come from. They come from a very bad place. Because the truth is, he jealous that he got sent home and you got sent out. Yeah. Oh, you know about that. That's what makes him having anything to say about anything you saying so fucking egregious. Pussy, you were so busy thinking you were special and you got sent home. Damn. Damn. Yeah, tell me I don't that, know. Tell me I don't know something. You you know you 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 know a lot. You definitely they they sent his ass home and and told me to come on out. That and part. Him. And guess what? Belial, me and you ain't never spoke these words. Tell me I don't know something. You you, you definitely know something. Jada, Jada sent his ass to fuck home. I know she Delaware. sent him home. It wasn't Will. It was Jada. I know it was Jada, and I know why she done it. That part, I don't know. That's the and part guess what? And be grateful that you don't. But mm. you know, sometimes the student likes to emulate the teacher. Ooh, wait. Okay. okay. And when you can't hunt publicly, you hunt within your camp. You know, see, nobody ever asked why Jaden left that house so young. Oh, well, we know that. Oh, that that that's definitely being talked about. That's definitely, you know, Jayden. I have a relationship with him. I'm going to tell you I this. Have a relationship right. you, you, I don't know if you ever noticed that boy hates Charlie. Oh, listen, he hates Charlie. And he hates his father. I know, but he hates Charlie, and I wish somebody would ask him why. Not on the set, he wasn't trying to kiss me, but after the set, he'll try to kiss me. Well, yeah, well, his father done things to him that he should be in jail for, so. His father done things to everybody. His father done things yeah. to everybody's kids. What they did to Bashir. See, that's why me and Charlie into it over Bashir. You know what? This lady told me she been riding nags all her life. So she never rode a real stallion. But you know what time it is? It's time for her to ride a real stallion. If you know what I'm talking about, go on and sell up and let's ride. Long day at the trail ride. You know how we do. Just came out the woods. Somebody banging that screw. Somebody banging that screw. This Cause see, he played around with his mama head. Cause of his jealousy with Larry Lair. See, how's Larry Lair doing? I always like that dude. Larry's doing all good. right, but you know he got the COVID and almost took him up out of here. Oh wow! But he come back from it, and then you know we hit, got hit with another wave of you know not so nice. I don't know if you remember Charlie Khan. Do you remember Charlie Khan? I don't remember him. I remember Larry Lair. Well, Charlie was a neighborhood boy. He did a little work with um with uh, the ghoul with uh Charlie Mac, and uh but. You know, Larry was throwing his shows and he did a show with Chris and Neef. 
And Charlie came out to the show. And then when he walked out, dude walked up right behind him, blew his fucking brains out. Out, out, out Parkside! Damn. Damn. This, this world getting it's, it's, it's Philly getting done like going super. crazy. Yeah, Philly is, is I, I haven't been back to Philly in no ten point. years. Listen to me, I, I ain't been, been home since the pandemic. I came home for a visit back in twenty twenty. I ain't in no rush to go back and see how bad shit got. It's lawless now, you know, so it's a I, Okay. Okay. So, so let me ask you this question. Um, do you have a timeline in which you want me to to do this podcast? The sooner the um, better. You? What's your schedule? So, um, I'm I'm traveling uh, for the next seven days. After that, I'm wide open to do anything that you need to get done. Get your travel on. Take a day to rest. We'll, if cool, we'll do the day after that. Okay, that sounds good. So, so now, do you know how it will work, or am I gonna call in? Um, well, I, are we gonna I do mean, it on you? I think yeah. But, I think we should bring you through uh, via Zoom, but we should discuss that with production. We need to get John okay. involved. Let's get John okay. involved, and then let's move from there. Um, okay. So we're talking ten days from today. Correct. We're talking. We're talking. Actually, seven, eight days from today. Okay, then we'll we'll call it eight days from today. Well, let's get it. Okay. So. And that's a Saturday. Uh, that's forward, good. That's good. Okay. So if you can forward John my number, so I'll know how he wants to do it. And Absolutely. Then after we do this one. Actually, you know what? Hold on it. one second. Um, Let me see, because we got a call here, but I might be able to just add him right now, if that's okay. And then this way we don't waste any time. I'm I'm, 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 I'm more than okay, because I I want you to have a a big situation. I'm going to let people know I'm going to come actually to Vegas in the studio once I get back to the States. And then we can hopefully get some big numbers and and, and do some uh, and get you some sponsorship. Oh, uh, Valaya, thank you. You know, a truth teller needs all the funding possible. I, I'm. I, I, I love that. And and you know who else? Um, I would love to meet if, if you're able to plug me in. You know that um, the the channel. I forget the name. I don't know if it's New Life Productions, but you know the one you were sitting on the couch with all the Real Life, life Productions. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I want to do that. I want to do that. Well. I want to. Want to do them too? Let me let me find let me find the best way to handle that. Okay, okay. But I don't have a problem with making that introduction, not at all. Okay, that that that. Not at all. That's not a problem. I'm we, trying to we, see. We're going to just email him out cold, but um, because I like that guy's style of interview, and I'm trying to knock out African American. Yeah, uh, outlets, channels. and then go back, and then loop back. I agree. Yeah, I agree. so all, all all the ones that I'm have lined up are all African American <coughs> channels, and then I'm gonna do the other ones that want me to do it. But I'm trying to knock out my people. But that real life one, I I, I like them. I, I I like that. I made it pop, so I just, didn't I? I? Just, oh, did you? I'm. Pop ain't the word. You know how many millions of views you got, gave them? I know. Are you, did you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I know. They should announce on your show that you have a um your pod. They at least owe you that much. They at least owe you that much. Well, you know, sometimes niggas get a little big-headed. Um, but, you know, everybody has to thrive the way they thrive. I'm the vault. Mm-hmm. They always mm-hmm. gonna need me before I need them. I'm the content. You know, the no, funny I, I, thing I, I, is, I, is when you decide to take it on in that manner, in that way, it becomes very interesting because you have to understand the the power, the control, but also the restraint. 
Mm-hmm. And it's um and, and some yeah. Please. And something else I, I I like to do is I like to 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 spread the information so I don't drop it all at one time. That part. Right? It's like so it's like I thought about doing it your way. It's so funny we're on the phone talking because I've watched every interview you've done. Oh, um, amazing. And I and, and I and I was like, oh, I said she dropped so 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 I I don't know. Did you see the interview I did the other day with um, Gorgeous Dre? No, I don't think Andre I've seen Taylor. that one. Yes, no, I I I saw the oh, other I'm one a, that you did with the other young gentleman. Okay, okay. So I I did one yesterday. I don't know if you remember the um the documentary American Hemp. Um. So the guy Andre Teller was one of the you know the biggest pimps in the country, and then he changed his life around. Um, to the point that his brother got killed in Seattle and um, he took it upon himself to fight and change police accountability in Seattle, Washington. Huge. Uh. So, um, yes. So um, he's he's actually the only African-American uh, who have fought to make police accountability laws in Seattle. It's, it's amazing what he's done. He's also a life coach. Awesome. So I did, I, I did his show, uh, I believe, two days ago, and um, I, I, I'll send, I'll send you the link to that interview right now, and I'll text you. Um, I mean, as soon as we get off the phone, I will text you his, uh, the name of his channel. It's just Andre Teller, and it's a two-hour video. Oh, but love to. <coughs> I'm sorry. To I said love to actually. One of my youngins on YouTube, one of my apprentices, he's been following you. He's very intrigued by you and he's been reviewing your content. So maybe this is something that I'll get to watch with him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, he's I'll fascinated by you. <laughs> well, that, 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 that's good. I'm, I'm just doing it to get this information out here. And, and so that Will, Charlie... And Jada cannot hurt more people. That, exactly. That's what this is, exactly. Is 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 really about. So it, it, I'm, yeah. I'm just taking my time to disseminate the information. Yeah. Um, Safely. Of dropping it like boom. You know Safely. what I mean. So I'm, I'm gonna take months. I'm gonna take months to disseminate this information. And that's smart to that's do. Yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. So we can stay as relevant as possible. And giving this information out and see what other opportunities can come from it. Because I think some some greater opportunities will come. This is my thoughts. This is my thoughts. So, all right. So we can talk to John. And then as soon as we talk to John, I'll get off the phone and I'll send you the, um, the interview. Um, the link to awesome. the interview that I just did two days well, ago. He didn't connect to this call. So when I didn't disconnect with okay. you, I'm going to reach out to him immediately. And then we'll go okay. from there. Yes, ma'am. I'm going right, to give cool. him so this I'm number, sure. though, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's, listen, this number you can give because I, I, it, it doesn't have um, a SIM card in it. it it's right. only on Wi-Fi. It's only on Wi-Fi. <laughs> Look, so that's, 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 why that's the only way I communicate. I, yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I, I go to a cafe or I go, I get this hot spot thing. And um, that's pre because I, I I'm not on the grid right now. <laughs> Neither am I. Neither am no, I. Man, Smart I man. It. I love it. So y'all ain't tracking me with no cell phone. That part. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to uh, I'm going to hit John up immediately, and we're going to get this sorted out. So, um, can you give me five okay. minutes? Yes, ma'am. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks Absolutely. for taking my call. No, thank you for calling. Right then. Peace. Okay. Peace. <laughs> uh, it's Storm Show. Hey, it's Storm Show.